we want to bring you a feature on The Megyn Kelly Show that we call Real Talk. It's basically my chance to talk about something going on in my life or something personal that's happened to me that I want to talk to you about. And today, it's Richie Sambora and John Bon Jovi. Yes. Like most girls who grew up in the 80s, I love John Bon Jovi, the band. Um, I love John Bon Jovi, and I also love the band Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora. But it wasn't until later in life that I actually met Richie Sambora uh, at a charity event down uh, south. And he was helping raise money for a bunch of kids, which is what he always does. And I loved the guy. Super sweet. Not at all what you'd think when you meet a rock star, like sort of, I don't know, gruff or weathered, right? He was just super warm and kind and self-deprecating. Well, it turned out about a year or two after that, Doug and I were on vacation with our family. And who was at the same hotel but Richie Sambora? So we spent a week with a guy in Hawaii, uh, more than a week, basically on vacation with Richie. We played tennis with him. You haven't lived till you've seen Richie Sambora and his tennis whites. It's just like so incongruous. But he was so kind. He was so good with my kids. And we just fell in love with the guy. Well, flash forward to just last night. And I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see an article by John Bon Jovi giving an interview. And, you know, Richie left the band and those two had a falling out and as so often happens. And that's fine. But honestly, John Bon Jovi never misses an opportunity to take a hit on Richie Sambora. Richie Sambora wrote all of that band's greatest hits. That's why he's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame, as well as the Guitar Players Hall of Fame. Uh, he, he is the talent behind Bon Jovi, and that's why Bon Jovi is not what it used to be without Richie Sambora. So fine, they parted. They should be classy about it and say, okay, we had a lot of good years. Honestly, John Bon Jovi should just be quiet when it comes to Richie Sambora, because what he said in this article, because he's promoting a new album, was that, oh, you know, I really wish that Richie were still part of the band, it's too bad, you know, if only he had his life together. And then he goes on and says, um, you know, it's because of his inability to get it together that, you know, I went on to write this other great song uh, that I'm really proud of a couple of years ago. So shot after shot, Richie's a hot mess. Richie doesn't have his life together. He can't get it together and so on. Now, I do know Richie Sambora. Trust me when I tell you he has his life together. Uh, he's making money hand over fist, of course, because he gets a lot of money on the, the songs that he wrote, and he's still writing great music. But Richie Sambora, as you know, has a daughter, might know, with Heather Locklear. And Heather's had a rough few years, as you've probably seen in the tabloids. And guess who's been taking care of their daughter? Richie. And their daughter, Ava, has turned out beautifully. She's doing really well. She's a college. She's a super together kid. Richie's a great, active father, which leaving the band helped him be at a time when their kid needed it. And on top of that, I just want to tell you a quick story about Richie. During COVID, one of our lowest points was my son Yates, who's now 11, lost his music teacher to COVID. And it was awful, Mr. Sorrell. He was the sweetest guy. Yates loved him. I mean, how often is it that your kid comes home and just keeps talking about one teacher? Well, that was Mr. Sorrell for Yates. And sadly, he died from COVID. And uh, it was awful for the whole community. Well, Richie Sambora heard about it, and he contacted us and said, I want to talk to Yates, who, again, he had met in Hawaii briefly. He talks to Yates. He said, I, too, had a music teacher who I loved. I understand the importance they can play in your life. They were on the phone for hours. Shortly after they hang up, Richie Sambora sent a guitar to our home, an electric guitar for my son, with a huge amp, by the way. And contacted us saying, I want to teach Yates how to play guitar. I want to help him learn music after the loss of Mr. Sorrell. And can I tell you that my son Yates has been doing Zooms once a week with Richie Sambora for months now. This guy's busy. This guy still is pursuing a very busy and successful music career. And he takes an hour out of his time week after week to sit with my 11-year-old so he still has someone to look up to in the music world. So you can pound sand, John Bon Jovi, because Richie does have his life together. He's a beautiful man, and he's been nothing but class. You could take a lesson.